Right, hi there, welcome back to the shed. Um, today's mission, um, it's a bit of a covert mission today. I've convinced Jen to take the car to work because um, I'm going to have a little play with the America. Um, what I want to do is try and uh, put the baffles in the cans. Um, if you were at the Ace or if you've heard the bike before, whatever, it's, it's quite, it's not a subtle bike, it's pretty loud, um, but it's got that echoey tinny I think kind of noise um, Del, Del Boy's mentioned it in his videos as well you know and he's pretty baffled it. it's kind of what's prompted me to to, to get around to doing this um, it's it's not I don't think it's going to make the volume a hell of a lot lower but it's just going to be a kind of warmer thicker sound rather than that abrasive sound so what I'm going to do dig out from somewhere the original baffles that came with it they're still in the box they've never been fitted um, Gonna nip up into the loft, get myself a bit more loft insulation, and uh, and sort of uh, lock wire that around it, just to try and beef it up a bit more, and um, yeah, see what happens. I'm gonna have to do a bit of fettling around because the way the cans they just slide on, um, they're kind of backwards at the moment. In order for me to put the baffle in, there's a, a nut welded on the inside of the can with a hole in it that the baffle sits in. Well, that's currently facing towards the headers if that makes any sense so I'm going to have to flip them round and try and get them to fit because they're, they're not a perfect fit but that will all become apparent um, what else we got um, Bonneville what's up with the Bonneville nothing up with the Bonneville um, let's pick up so you don't see my face um, just a few ideas whilst I'm brainstorming and fighting around I, I still haven't got enough cash for uh, another project or nothing's come up yet that, that I can really do I mean there's a lot of things that I like but um, it is all all the cash flow so I'm still thinking of a few tweaks shall we say to the Bonnie um, one of which is I really would like to try and get hold of a another top yoke um, mainly so I can push out the uh, handlebar risers they're like underneath that I've capped and, and just bolted them now just to try and tight you know tidy it up a little bit but there's like a brass bush uh, with a rubber kind of almost interference fit pressed into here and um, the older models I think they just popped out and you were left with a hole these ones aren't they're pressed in so you need some kind of a draw bolt or a press to pop them out it's a reversible job if you're careful um, but I'm just um, thinking with the frequency in which I tend to change bars it's probably gonna be quicker to have two yokes <laughs> um, one that I've pressed them out of and one not it'll just make it look a bit tidier because I am really enjoying these bars at the moment. Um, but the other reason for having this secondary yoke, um, I kind of want to still want to do that whole dropping the clocks a little. They just seem to stand a little bit too proud. So with another yoke, I can chop the tabs here off, cut them flush, and that's going to drop the clocks down a bit. Um, maybe still mess around with mounting them. And the, excuse me, underneath. Um, I know there's different kind of gauge clusters you can get. You know the metal ones, but I'd like to do something that's a bit. You know, it's not off the shelf, it's a bit different. So, yeah, so just thinking about all that sort of stuff. Um, Pipes-wise as well. Um, the wrap is starting to show its age. I put this on at the end of last summer. I think it was maybe maybe August time, uh, possibly. Um, so that's had a, a winter, uh, end of the summer season, a winter's ride, and we're now where we're at. Um, so a fair few miles. It's not look, it, you know, it's fading a bit there. Nothing a bit of quick spray paint wouldn't do. It's certainly probably dark down there, but it looks fine down there. Um, but um, the plan was either when it gets too tatty, is either rewrap them again, or maybe for a bit of a front project again, just ripping off Del Boy. I'll do the uh, black spray paint on them because I think his scrambler looks really trick with those. As much as I love wrap pipes, um, we'll see. I might uh, might just do those black. This is a the, the pipes I've used down pipes I've used on this are a gash set from I picked them up off eBay for fifteen quid. So I've still got me new one, you know the uh, my mint condition ones upstairs um, with a nice little bit of bluing on them, um, which are perfect. So I can kind of afford to have these as my fuck around ones. And I'm if you I don't know if you can see under here, but. As you might know, Bonnie owners, there's a like a small link pipe between the two here. I'm contemplating cutting those off and welding them up. 
I can't see the point of having the link pipe. I think you know that's going to just make it to struggle to breathe a bit more. So I'd be curious to see what would happen if I did something with that, um, and maybe try and flare up the uh, the ends there a little bit with the cans. You know, a la the Thruxton style. I don't know. A few, just a few tweaks and ideas I'm thinking of doing. And then the other one is um, the ongoing dalliance with a side mount. I've got a few plans possibly in the pipeline for a side mount. Um, so if that happens, here's one seat I unbolted earlier. Um, what I'm going to do is, I've got my under tray thing here. So obviously I've got rid, rid of the stock mud guard. So this is just like a sheet of aluminium that's just bent there and then folded here with the, the light fitted on it and a number plate bracket um, it's not the best protection underneath um, but what I don't want to do if I go for the side mount and have a light and the number plate light and all that I want to just lose everything from here but I don't want to just cut off this um, I bought this a while back when I had some cash um, it's very nicely done um, it all came as one sort of unit and I've got the indicators with it um, but it's horrifically expensive just to cut in half if I want to revert back. So it's easy enough, I think, to take this and do a template and make my own. Um, I've probably got some gash alley underneath there somewhere that I can use. Um, or I might even uh, glass fibre. I've got loads of fiberglass up there. I'll see how much resin I've got. Because um, it's not a massive piece, you see. And there's no, there's no load bearing on it or whatever. It's just literally to go underneath there so yeah I mean I might um, have a play around with that and do make an under tray as well so I can take this off as one unit and save it and see what happens but that depends on if the other bits of the plan for the side mount come about that's my garbled way of saying there's a few ideas in the pipeline anyway so but um, enough of waffleage um, it's probably going to end up being a long video of waffling before Jim gets back let's get on with the America Right, so while we're down here, it's actually going to be a good chance. Looks like Mrs. Caesar stuck her foot on there or something at some point, or we've had some tar up, so I'll be able to give those a bit of a clean. Um, that's not, if that's picking up here in the camera, I can't tell if it is. It's not rushed around there, that I could only get the, uh, the orange sealant. Can't get any black at the moment, or I couldn't where I was, and I, I just needed to get some there and then. But behind here, it's it's a 12 mil nut, not a 10. Uh, and again, my trusty ratchet spanners makes life a lot easier. There we go. exciting viewing guide. There should be one nut. There should be a spring washer somewhere. Got my one handed. Ah oh, there it is. There we go. And then it's a case of just trying to wiggle this bad boy off. <laughs> off the bracket. Yeah this could be two hand job hang on. Job. There we go. Uh, oops. So, it's the inner workings. That's my uh, just a bent bracket that, um, that kind of holds that on in place. Um, that there was. Because the trouble is, um, with the America downpipes, they're slightly different diameter to the Bonneville one. Um, so they these went on that way, and that's the that's the hole that bolts the uh, the baffle in. Um, I don't think I'm going to get them to go in that way. I don't know. I might if I. Could, could just slice a little bit, push that in, maybe.
right, it's got the slots drilled in. I've just uh, tightened them up in the vise a little bit just to um, chamfer them in. And uh, now for the insertion, so it's really lubed. Um, as I said, I've just got the uh, sealant that makes it look like my rust, my uh, pipes are rusty rather than uh, the nice black stuff. But you've got to use what you got. So uh, here we go. Right, so I've got the uh, the can on now again, reversed with the notches cut. So that's all pretty tickety boo. So I've just given it a, a quick wipe over as well, some of my greasy mitts on all over it. Um, so yeah, we have the slightly wider exit now. Um, trying to think what kind of effect that, if any, will have on the overall sound. I mean, I suppose the gases are being before were were large. Then compressed and out, and now it's not so much. Um, to be honest, probably to my ears, I won't be able to tell any difference anyway because they're shot. But um, over here, we have brand spankingly, I never even touched. That's the standard baffles that they come with. Um, and that, and then they slow in there. Excuse me. Um, yeah, and it's just got a nut welding on there, so spring washer, and that holds it in place. But I think, I mean, that's not really a hell of a lot of wadding on there. Um, you look at the diameter. I reckon I can get another another roll around that, um, which should give it a bit of a deeper sound they're still going to be loud pipes because jesus i mean that's you know it's just a, a downpipe extension really in it um so let's uh let's go and raid the sh raid the loft upstairs but i am going to pussy out a little bit and just grab myself a couple of pairs of gloves because i know i'll handle fiberglass and then go for a wee and then that'll be itchy Okay, All right, just on the way to the loft, let's put that back there. It's my table of eBaying, if anyone's interested. Oh, yeah, found, found that out in the shed. That's the rubber mount for that. But yeah, we've got a America tank in a kind of pearlescent white. Um, there's the binnacle spray black, but um, I'm going to give that a, or I had the trim on it, needs another coat just to tidy it up. Maybe I won't get them on this weekend. I'll get everything all cleaned up and nice. A uh, full on metal rear Speedmaster America. Well, it's an America one, but I dare say it would fit on a Speedmaster. Uh, rear mudguard. A Bonneville SE black mudguard. So that's shorter than the T100 one. But obviously, as you've seen, mine doesn't have it anymore. Powder coated frame rails for America or Speedmaster. Official Triumph locking filler cap. Um, I'm just so desperate for cash. I am selling everything. Uh, Bonneville headlight is and the rubber mounting brackets. Virtually brand new. I took them off almost as soon as I got the bike. Um, LSL tubes and free spirits clip-ons. 41 mil diameter clip-ons. Um, so they're going. Uh, Spare alarm key fobs for a Triumph, don't know, it's always worth just sticking on eBay. Uh, rear light unit for Bonneville, don't think I'm going to use that, mind you, looking at the wiring, mm -hmm. possibly. 
um, just the carcass of an America one. Uh, roof, never buy second hand crash helmets kids, uh, except for this one, um, which is for sale on eBay shortly. That's a matte black roof R01 with the bag and dark visor. And because uh, I am so skint, I only had these about four months, but a pair of Icon Patrol boots. Nice boots, but I'm just going to have to make do with my para boots at the moment. There's some money to be had there. They're uh, size 10s. Well, it says 10 and a half, but they're American sizes, and I tried the 10s on, and they were too small, so 10 and a half is perfect for me for a 10. If that makes any sense? Anyway, we digress. That's the eBay sale table. Just a cheap kind of infill there. Now then, I always consider safety to be paramount uh, in uh, the garage, in the home, um, particularly if you're going to go up in the loft, always make sure you've got an adequate step ladder. If you're handling fiberglass, have a correct respiratory mask on and um, proper gloves as well, because that stuff is nasty. So adhering to all the health and safety rules. Let's do this properly, let's be safe. I need scissors. If I actually fall, it's going to be really embarrassing to explain. I'm alone in the house at the moment, dressed in an adult Spider-Man costume, purely for the benefit of a cheap laugh on YouTube. Right, okay, shit, take two. Uh, just realised, I just filmed me doing that and uh, realised I hadn't pressed uh, play on the camera. <laughs> um, but, you know, it looks a bit phallic, like a battered whatever. But um, <clears throat> that's my big pink fluffy thing. Um, used about, <clears throat> say, two thirds of that and really tight and tightly wrapped it around there on top of the yellow um, and then I've got a bit of lock wire here and um, so we shall insert in and then repeat with other side
Right then, so there we go, a little bit of fluffing around, but um, baffles are in, quite a nice tight fit. Um, as you pick it up, so that's pretty much it now. Just got the bolts, that, it's just a little 10 mil nut that holds that on with a spring washer. Um, hopefully filled up a lot more of this part of the chamber with the baffle wadding or loft insulation. Um, same one to the side. So, really now, the moment of truth is, um, I guess I'll just roll it outside, start it up and see if there's any difference. I mean, I imagine to you guys, um, listening on to headphones or whatever, and I'm recording this on a crappy, well not crappy, but just a camera phone, um, you're just going to hear whatever, but um, hopefully in the flesh I'll be able to sort of see if there is a, a decent sound difference. Um, so... Right, I'll just go and run and get the keys. All difference really in terms of volume. I think it's a bit deeper sounding. So just to round this video up, um, that's it. I've just come back. I've had my sandwiches. Very nice, tasty lunch. Um, and yeah, I think the bike. If I, it's, I don't think it's any quieter really, but it has got a much more warm, deeper, less kind of ah sound to it. Um, so yeah, and I, I think having just a bit more back pressure in there has just improved things a little bit. I am. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, Jen's probably going to watch this video and know anyway, but it'll be interesting if I don't show her and then to see if she notices it. But I think it, I think it's a better sound. It it won't pick up properly on a Samsung mobile phone and then processed and put onto YouTube really. But uh, um, I think it's I think it sounds better. Don't know if it'll pass an MOT, but um, we'll see. I think it's a better sound all over. But um, all right, stay tuned. Hopefully next time there'll be more Bonneville fun. Thanks.